Oh my goodness. Hey everybody. I apologize. I am trying to figure remember where I put all my settings at. Ooh, yeah, that's not that's not gonna work. What is that showing us? I believe that's showing us the table. Uh, what table is that showing you? <laughs> it's not showing the one that I want, and I, I do not have a co-host today. So why am I uh is this the one I want? Oh, possibly. That could possibly be it. Yeah, okay. I think that's the one I want. <laughs> Let me go ahead and shrink that bad boy. If you guys are wondering, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to do a live on Instagram and Facebook at the same time. And I am absolutely, having absolutely no success. Uh, I think this one, that one page that I was looking at actually was trying to get me to download another another app which is like I'm like, okay I've already got enough apps there's got to be an easy way to do this how do I get Instagram and Facebook to because it's owned by the same company dang nabbit I don't want to have my phone sitting over here I bought another thing over here I don't know if you guys you, know, you guys can't see it but right there well things for camera and stuff like that I could put post put this camera in here as a matter of fact I might go ahead and do that we'll set that bad boy up wow I have a problem with my thumb. Why you guys have not seen me drawing in a while. And I apologize you haven't seen me drawing in a while. It has to do with um my thumb pops. I'm gonna try and expand all the way out. And this is my drawing hand, by the way. Ah, see it? When it pops in that and pull it back in it, just the whole hand jolts and it hurts. Um they tested me for rheumatoid arthritis. They said there's uh no rheumatoid arthritis. So I'm okay in that aspect. <clears throat> it hurts. I'm not gonna lie. I'll forgive my dirty little t-shirt here. Um, <laughs> I uh, ah, was wearing my. <clears throat> I just got done work. Why is this thing doing this to me? Facebook Messenger. I don't need Facebook Messenger. Oh, I must have accidentally hit the button. <laughs> Too many buttons. Too many, too many buttons. Okay. Mm. Here we go. And we got that little video, that little portion up there. Um. Only problem I have here is that I can't see any comments. If anybody is going to comment, uh, let me bring this over here. If somebody is going to comment. I can't see it. So, um. There is my dashboard right there. Uh, I guess, okay, I comment settings. Go in here, uh, default, all viewers can participate in chat. That works for me, but isn't there usually a way you can go ahead and have it so that, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, forgive me again. I am trying. It has been so long. I actually had to up, uh, do four updates on my Instagram or on my uh, OBS because I hadn't streamed in so long. Um, so has viewer settings? No. Uh, stream settings? No. Uh, software set of key. No, you guys don't need to see that. I don't want to show you that, so I'm not gonna put that on the screen. Other comments. There we go. Show default comments. Um, used to have a thing in here where you could uh, live show live stream on Facebook. Yeah, live video URL. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Maybe it's under interactive. Questions, graphics, polls, graphics prompts. No, that's not it. I used to have this thing on the dashboard a while ago. And again, it's been a long time where you could uh, copy. Or the um, profanity filters off. 
Cool. Block keywords. No, no. Banner. Machine. A person or page who's banned. Oh, it's a banned. Mute. Ah. Huh. Uh. <laughs> Comment, moderate, moderate, and I'm going to pop it up. Where's the pop? It's popping up. No. I don't want a profanity filter. So anyway, oh. if anybody's leaving me a thing, I have no idea because guess what? It's not showing it to me. Yeah. All right. This is a little bit. Let's go up in here and see if we can take a look at it. As a, a viewer, huh? Yeah. Come on. Take so don't take forever. There we go. And saying it's live. Uh, hmm, there's comments right there. Uh, hey, I'm back. Today I'm so this guy. Setting the slide. Uh, hmm. there's comments right there. Let me turn it down. Uh, yeah. Go. All right. Don't need to hear that. All right. We don't need to hear. hear the, uh, hear. I don't need to hear myself talking. <laughs> Turn the volume back up on everything else, up, right? Yeah, that works. Uh, so I can see comments right there. That'll do for a little bit. Anyway, how are you folks doing today? Anybody out there watching? Oh, reached zero people. Zero, zero people. Oh, nobody's watching. Of course, it is 1 24 a.m. and eh, Saturday morning. Yeah. Confirm that request that my little sister. So I'm going to do some Facebook searching while I'm on here talking to you folks. <laughs> we go. You guys can see what, I, see what I'm messing around with in here. This is my... This is what the view looks like from the other end. <laughs> I guess I don't... Yeah. Kind of cute and confusing with all the pictures and everything in there. Huh? Um, it's like triple me in, 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 in. Let's see. Let's see. Watch this. Look. <laughs> it doesn't work. That is like a bizarre effect. <laughs> There's more coming in. Okay, we're going to pull that out because that just looks funky. <laughs> Oh man, um, I do know I want to do this with my OBS. So I'm going to click on the OBS and I want to take this um, display capture. No, it's not the display capture. I've got display capture on. Um, what is it I want? Is the host thing? If I have a host, but I don't have a host. Hmm, working from the computer. Drop Shadow. Um, there's a host name. Hmm, no, that's not it. Uh, computer does live media plugins. <laughs> I put my chat in there like that, huh? Be nice. Have the chat. 
problem is with the chat, I have to have uh, can't do that because, um, yeah, it's supposed to not give me that option anymore. Huh. the pop out chair. Huh. Okay. That's a problem. That is not going to work for me. <laughs> I might go ahead and just discontinue all this and see to figure it out later. But I would like to do some drawing. Try to do some drawing. The problem is it's holding my pen right now with my drawing hand is hard. But I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I just would like to be able to pop this out, and then it's not popping it out. Mm -hmm. Let's get it out. I think there's. I think you have to do it when you begin before you begin the video. Yeah. I think that's what it's what it is. I have to do it before I begin the video. Just. Huh? No. I'm so. I am a two. I do you add a two? I am a two. All the tools are added. Huh? All the tools are added. Yeah. That's what they say. All the tools are added. I'm <laughs> 12 minutes and I haven't done anything in it. Any drawing. I should be ashamed of myself. I haven't done any trouble. Right? So, anybody has any idea out there how I can set this up? Well, I guess I have to do it in the very beginning. I'll have to try another video see if I can do it in the very beginning to do the pop out chat. But it's not going to let me do it right now. And that's fine. So I'll go ahead and uh, turn that off. There we go. So we'll just stick with the, hey, look at my artwork. Uh, yeah, drop shadow display. I don't want the display. I don't want the display. I would like another video. Uh, nope, drop shadow, nope. Uh -huh. It's me working from my computer. <laughs> ah, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and add one in there. So I'm gonna do. Um, we're gonna put it in here. Video capture device. And we're going to go ahead and put this in the video. Um, my Intrix camp is not, cam is not working. Uh, property. Uh-oh. Well, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Okay. That works. So you guys will be actually be able to see me do artwork. And I'll just go ahead and shrink that up. And where you got where you guys like me put that? Click up here. Uh, 
How about this? We'll shut the... Yeah. I'm showing you guys how to do all this edit stuff. I'm going to show you how you got to do all this edit stuff. So, um, what we're going to do is... We are going to go ahead and remove the slideshow. Boom. Slideshow open. And I will take this and move you up there. Like so. See? Isn't that cool? Now, I have this wonderful additional feature that I can put in there. Watch this. This is really, really cool. Um, just added this, not the display capture, add an image. All right. I want drop shot. Boom. There's my drop shot. I can bring the drop shadow in over here. Right. I want to really fill in all of that right there. There you go. Drop behind the image like so. See? See how I'm doing that? But now I'm going to take it and boom, lower it by one. And you got a video of me right there. Okay, so we'll, now what we're going to do. I'm going to take a look at one of my texts showing up on my page here. See? You ah, uh, it's one of my coworkers telling me about how he, he wants to pick a run. I already picked, guys. Um, that's the other thing. Um, with the changes in my schedule that were happened before, it also made things very difficult for me to do any, 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 any um, broadcasts. I it was working a lot of hours. I'll be working a lot of hours again, but I'm going to try and still try and fill them in somehow. I'm going to be doing some more videos here. Um, I'm not just on um, Facebook. Uh, I'm going to try and do all my live broadcasts from now on Facebook. Uh, but I want to try and include Instagram in there. Um, and then I'm going to repost them on YouTube. Um, but I want to start doing more live. And I'm hoping to see y'all come around and say hi. Yeah, but it's I am I, I, understanding right now that nobody's going to watch this video. Probably they'll watch it rebroadcast. But nobody's going to sit here and watch this video right now. Because well, it is 1.34 a.m. On Saturday night or Sunday morning so seeing uh, yeah be very few people but I can go ahead and get in here and do some sketching which is what I originally came in here to do right 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 right, right. yeah we'll do some sketching click studio no it's not click studio paint um, come on, stick, clip, stick. I clip, stick, stick. Come on, clip, studio paint. Which you are. There we go. For some odd reason, they wanted to show up on the other end. But, uh, there we go. We're good now. We're good. We're good. All right. So, um, so you understand, you have me sitting here up above me. You have, please see the board. You'll actually be able to see me draw. All right. So, you'll actually see the drawing in progress. There we go. We can do some uh, minor adjustments here. And move the both of these at the same time. Let's put it to like that. There you go. All right, and then we'll go back in here and click on this studio. Um, so you guys, I don't know if you guys want to see this, but um, I was when I was trying to get my hand right and get things working with my hand again. I I have a sore thumb. My um, it's a trigger thumb. I can only. Bend this so far where it causes me a lot of pain. You see, like that, we're popping it out like that. And pop, ooh. It causes a lot of pain when I stretch it all. I can do it all, anything I want with this thumb, but 
this is not my drawing hand unfortunately but this one causes a lot of pain and putting pressure on it causes a lot of pain i've been wearing a hand brace on my hand um i took the hand brace off took some tylenol i hope it helps but anyway uh back to what we were talking about before i'm gonna go in here i'll show you some uh well, first, actually, I'll show you these things. I did the this. Um, let me show. Let me show you on Clip Studio. Uh, I am not a professional colorist. Um, oh, by the way, I gotta give a special thanks to my good friend Elliot Fernandez, jerk monger. He recommended this book, and I have been reading this book, and he made your thumbs up. If you guys get a chance and you want to learn how to do some professional style color, like the coloring I did on this is not very professional. It's, it's okay. It's, I mean, it, it is what it is, but it's not like professional. This, like what you see on the cover of this, that's professional color. Comic wise. But this is hi-fi. And this actually covers more, and Elliot warned me when he showed this, this color covers more of what you would use in Photoshop, the Photoshop tools. But, it still gives me an overall idea of what I should be looking for in college. But anyway, let's go in here. Um, well, the, um, this artwork is not mine. Uh, it's from a book called Shinobi Sasquatch. Um, it was a crowdfunding campaign, and uh, I became a part of it, or I um, not became a part of the crowdfunding campaign. I guess, in a way, I became a contributor. So I guess, yeah, I am a part of part of the campaign, but I was a, a contributor to the campaign. And um, they sent a PDF of some of the artwork that was currently going on. And they had this wonderful piece that was uncolored. I will actually show you what it looks like when uncolored. That's what it looks like when it's uncolored. I mean, the artwork is phenomenal. Uh, Willis is a uh, um, really, really incredible artist. And then you had Reyes, Jimmy Reyes doing the um, inks. And I follow, if you guys get a chance, you can check uh, Reyes out on um, YouTube. He actually uh, he does some really incredible, incredible, cool, incredible ink work. And it's all, it's a lot of it's digital. I mean, it does a lot of work on digital. Ink actually create a kit kit i actually have it on my website here take a look at my website www.horsefornstudios.com i have a little small advertisement on there he did not pay me for it i put it up there because i found it useful so you know, if i find something useful or if i like somebody and i like somebody's work and nobody pays me for the advertisement on my websites i put it up there because um well i think good things should happen for good you know for, you know, good things should happen for good creators and content creators. And Reyes was a good content creator. You'll find Elliot Fernandez on there, a good contact, excellent contact, uh, content creator. Um, other people that I found that were made some really cool content that I really enjoyed. But anyway, uh, you'll find all you can find little advertisements and links and stuff like that on my on my uh, website for those things. Um, anyway, uh, back to what I was talking about. This was what originally said, and I tried different um, different moods. I wanted to try different things, so I I did one where I caught uh, night skies. There you go. I did the colors for night skies. That's what it looks like when you're looking at night skies. That's the layers, and I basically, if you take a look up in here, if I were to take this and bring this over here, and expand this. Go ahead, go ahead and go in here and shift and click and we'll expand this whole thing here for you so you can see it. Ah, come on, Cam was supposed to expand too, but it didn't. That's all right. There we go. Um, if we go in here, I click I expand it so you can see. You can see here, nice guys. And these are the different things. And what I did was, is I create, under nice guys, I created different, multiple layers, different colors, different with for different attributes so i mean there that's for the underground for the rocks and formations and so forth and then you got in here that's for the backgrounds uh that this layer uh that's for uh, female skin and then you have in here additional um 
for G the jeans and uh, the Sasquatch's um, sash. That's what we call it. Yeah, it's a sash. It's coming out from underneath them. You can see that it's next to the rock. All right, and I said uh, this is me practicing learning. There's a whole lot more. Like I should have given you an idea. These tones right in here. That tone right there, you see the hand in, should be far more diff far different than this. I should have made this more beige so that it would have given more variation to the tones. And I didn't. That's my fault. But that's a rookie mistake. And it's okay. I shouldn't say a rookie mistake. I'm not a rookie, but I've been doing our work for 30 some years. But um here's the here's the Here's a true fact for anybody out there who's interested in being an artist. Uh, you're always a student. End of story. Always a student. You're always learning. Always. Okay, there's always things that I can, more stuff that I can learn. A lot more stuff I can learn. I mean, I haven't been doing it professional for years. And uh, recently started getting more, going more, more professional. But I, I did, did some professional work back Early in my earlier years, when I was younger, I'm 50 years old now, 50. But uh, and then I broke away from it because I started looking for other avenues to make grow, to make income for my ever-growing family. I have a wife and three sons, and my three sons are getting older now. And my wife is uh, got her own business. You ever guys want to check that out? With all these dice, uh, dice studio designs. She's thinking about changing the name and rebranding her company. I think uh, the name she has. Uh, she came up with is awesome. I think it's a really cool idea. But um, I wish her all the luck with it. But Dye Studios, Dye, you actually check out her website. She does some interior interior design work. Um, and also she uh, creates um, knickknacks and uh, decorative items that would go in a house. And she does a lot of that kind of stuff. It's really, she's really, really good at it. And I'm not just saying, excuse my wife, but she's really good at it. Yeah, actually, you can check out here on Facebook too. She actually has a Facebook page. To see some of her material. Anyway, um, there we go. Let me put that back in there. That's this. That was his fur. It's a fur tone right there. Actually, there is quite a bit different color between between the uh, image up there and the image over there. This is wow. What a difference. The camera. It's the camera. Creates a difference. But anyway, um, let's see. There we go. That's uh, the bandages and the, the straps that are covering for the um, sword sheaths. You know, on his hands. You see the bandages on the hands. I'll put it back on there so you can see it. See? The grays are better. Now they're going. Now they're back. Now they're going. Now they're back. <laughs> they're going. Now they're back. Um, and then go in here and... Uh, I created a blue layer, really, just to, uh, it's kind of a bluish gray layer, to kind of, I guess you say, to dull it down a bit, but maybe I should leave it like it is, because that actually gives a difference between the brown and the rock. Huh? What do you guys think? Leave the blue gray out? Leave it vibrant, let it pop? You guys tell me, or maybe I can just let it do less. Less is more. Still keep some of the vibrant and pop in there, but ever so much. Not maybe keep it at fifteen. What do you think? It gives a little, a, a lot more contrast. And keep going. In. He made a really blue. There you go. Really dark. Really blue. <laughs> uh, I'd have to print it out to see what it looked like in print. But that's just the overcast, overcast shadow that I created for it. But anyway, back to the black and white. And now we're going to take a look at the sunset. Boom. That's what I did for the sunset. 
sunset image. So I hope you guys like that. Um, let me go back over here and shrink this back so you can see it on the true screen. Because right now we're, I'm not going out, we're not showing you our work, not really doing any drawings. It's not even going to see my hands doing it. Right? There we go. Back. It's back. It's back. Bring it all back. But anyway, there we go. That's the um, sunset image. And again, I broke everything down into layers. Um, we'll start with those. I'll click it all out. There we go. That was the main layer. Right there. I just took out my base layer. I just took everything and just started at the top. And brought it down to orange. That's my base layer. What do you guys think, huh? And I want it took the and white out the eyes. I creates I white some things out over here to to make it pop a little bit more in the final image, but I want went in there and that was the next layer. That's the skin. That was for the skin. And then for jeans. There you go. You guys can see. And then the rocks. I really should label these. I had them labeled at one time. I think I, because I've been moving stuff around and altering things, I lost the labels that I labeled them. Then we got his fur. I still wanted to keep some of the orange tones in there. And then I went in there and I added, uh, what is that? Oh. That's a, a gray tone. I had a gray tone layer over top of everything. I, I literally cut it all out so it would just fit over just his fur because I wanted to mile or mellow out the um the fur. So I created a gray tone layer. I can see before, then after, before, then after. <laughs> I think it out like that. You can see a difference here. See? Put it in like that. All right. Then um I think this was just all the final touches, adding all the extra little doodads and doo whoops and we do whoops. And that's the clothing, these wear the sweat sass best wear the bandages and the straps and the swords and all that fun stuff. I had some shadow techniques also to the legs, obviously. Put some shadows in there. Just to give some depth. But that was the next one. That and that was and then I think I showed you this one. This was the daytime one. Take that off and there's the daytime one. That's my daytime. Now with the daytime one, I wanted to keep um things a little bit more vibrant i guess you could say uh what i did oop oop i back in my obs there we go uh, so what i did with that was um if you look over here um what i did was is i created a layer there was nothing but green so well, actually, I'm going backwards. So, bring it all back down. There we go. Boom. Okay. So, that's the image without. Now, I created a base layer on this. And basically, what this base layer is this base layer is, um, what do they call that? Um, Oh, there's a name they use for it. Uh, where it's how uh, I was flats. I was doing my flats. Try to turn it off so you guys can see it better. I'm sorry. There you go. I was trying to create my flats. Right. So it works better like that. 
No, it does. It's just getting in my way. That's all. <laughs> uh, so I create I, I create a flat layer. Basically, when you're doing flats, and I recently, again, this is stuff I've learned from this book. Um, also watching, um, there's a phenomenal, uh, got a phenomenal colorist on YouTube. Um, let me see, uh, I'll give you his name in a second. He's one of my saved people I watch all the time. I know his first name's Kurt. Uh, go in here, there we go. Um, yeah, Color with Kurt. You ever get a chance to take a look at it? Kurt Mitchell. Uh, Kurt Michael, sorry, Kurt Mitchell. Kurt, Kurt Michael Russell is his name. All right. Um, his, his page is uh, Color with Kurt. Or, that's Dave Finch. Oh, Dave Finch hosted Posted him. <laughs> Good for you, man. Good for you, Kurt. All right, so we go in here. Uh, Color with Kurt is the name of the page. If you want to take a look. Uh, again, uh, right there. Guys, get take a look at on his page on YouTube. One Color with Kurt. Um, and I've learned a lot from this, from him, and from this book, and from other a few other avenues um, on. Um, start off with flats basically you're creating layers with a, a layer that has, separates all your different components and that's what i did here if you look i got um i got one color just for sasquatch's fur one color for his fabrics on the clothes one color just for the sword one color for the Females for the um, females skin, one color for her hair, one color, one color for her blue jeans. And this is no shading, just a straight just blocking it out. I created a lot and went and did flats and just put a flat color in there. That way, later on, when I go in here and I start adding tones, just going in, I can go in here. Oh, uh, well, that's an empty layer. <laughs> I don't know why I got an empty layer, but I got an empty layer. Um, go in here and I add tones. Right here's the stones. You see the difference. If you take a look again, yeah. uh, without the tones, with the tones. See, without the tones. You're looking now. We're looking down at the stone, the the rock or the hill that they're he's sitting on, with the tone. Or, Without the tone, with the tone, without the tone. Just because I, I put down this orangish rock, brown, orangish brown tone color as a flat doesn't mean I was going to stick with that color. It was just a way for me to select that color and go back and make tonal differences, maybe add a different color to it. And that's what doing flats is like. And again, I am no professional. I'm just giving you guys helpful hints about how I do things. How I've done things since I started learning to color using uh, digital. All right, um, markers is easy. Painting, I've done painting. Um, I'm not going to say I, you know, that I'm the greatest at it. I've been doing more black and white ink work and pencil work over the years than anything, simply for time constraints. I mean, most of the time, I'm, most of my artwork. If you look at my Instagram page under Forceful Studios. Um, a lot of it's all sketchbook work, and the reason why is because I've only had, you know, doing a full-time job or full-time and a part-time job or full-time job with working a ton of overtime to make sure that I can put a roof over my family's head, pay the bills, um, all that fun stuff. <clears throat> yeah, it eats up a lot of your time. Uh, another good friend of mine, Cam uh, Cam Hill, he's an artist who also works at SEPTA. Like I do, um, I work. It's a transportation company, public transportation company. And he say, he's in the same boat. He's proud of himself, and I'm proud of him too, because he finished a project that he recently did. Now he's getting a chance. He went and bought himself this uh, the iPad, got himself the Procreate with the 
Apple Pencil and all that. And he's just now he's whipping into it. He's realizing all this wonderful stuff. He's like, oh my God, it's a whole new world opened up to him. And he's excited. He's looking forward to doing his projects. Uh, excuse the mess back here, by the way. My wife is currently working on some wood burning projects and working on some, uh, creating some, uh, her um, fairy homes. You can see, check those out again on her website. She, uh, she, yeah, she does some woodworking stuff. But um, changing around around here, uh, I just noticed the stuff in the video was <laughs> behind me. Let me apologize about that. I don't have my uh, my canvas up. But anyway, um, let's continue on. Uh, what we got here? Uh, next layer. Uh, this is where I just had some little highlights again. See, boom, take it out, boom. Now all of a sudden, I got a few rocks. It just got a little bit of shine. Just to add a little bit of shine. I want it on a different layer in case I didn't want it on there. Boom. Yeah, you can see up in here. If I go up in here, you can see this little, these little, where the hand is at, those little individual light tones. I got one over here. Got a little yellow shine right in there. And that's all with that. That one layer, my layer 21. Boom. See? Just adding some tonal differences. I try to make things pop a little bit. And then, there we go. Her shirt. That one was her shirt. Went from orange to a pink. A purplish pink. And then, go up in here. And what did I add on that one? Oh, that's her skin. See, it went from basic flat. Go in there and take a look. Blow this up. There we go. See, you go in there like so. You see, our the, the tone's flat in there, but click on it. Now there's some su subtle differences, some highlights. Just a few. All right, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see it better. All right. Now, you got two different cameras up here. You got the one over here. You got this one that's right above me. And you got that view right there. So you got two different views. But it's all slight tone differences. See, without tone, with tone. Without tone, with it. You know, I should say, without highlights, with highlights. Variation, slight variations to the skin. Just trying to make it look more three dimensional, I guess you can say. So then we go up in here and the next one, where's this one going to? Uh, oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Did I create a, a one layer for her band aid? Yes. I did. One layer. Look. One layer. Just for the band-aid. No band-aid. Band-aid. No band-aid. <laughs> band-aid. I have no shame. <laughs> there we go. Adding some more tones. This is just adding shadow for the see. And I believe for that I used the brown. Because I wanted to create um some very variations on the tones on that. Yeah. No, that's not it. Okay, let me click in here. There we go. For some odd reason, this says her pants. That's not just her pants. This is, well, actually, it is her pants. But, um, yeah, I created some tonal differences in there. And I got to watch my shadows because look, look what I did right there. I should be ashamed of myself. Right there. Should be ashamed of myself. And it's a simple fix. We can go in here and... Pull it out of there. There we go. 
Let me see if I can use my hand. There we go. And we'll tilt that down just ever so slightly so you can see it for yourself. Ah, uh, wonderful little thing here. I'm having some delay because I literally have like three or four programs running at one time. Hmm. You're saying, yeah, this is not working for me, son. This is not working. Anyway. Um, let's go. Where are we at? Where are we at? There we go. Put that back on there and put that back in there, right? Okay. So. Where are we at now? Okay. I click back up and at this point I want to well, better watch doing that huh I just thank god it was on our layer and it didn't have anything right there at the time I would have erased it because it was on the eraser tool um at this point I wanted to work on her jeans on her hair I just made it slightly darker made the hair very very dark not very very dark but you can see the difference i had some tonal variations to the hair yeah, there's gonna be spots where light hits it and it's gonna be brighter and there's gonna be spots where light don't hit and it's gonna be darker i mean reyes and willis did some really excellent work at creating their own tones using line work but as in color as a colorist working as a colorist on this one i had to make sure i added some variation so next We'll whip it back. Now where are we gonna go from here? I went and boom. I wanted to make some color differences in fur, and that was me working on Shinobi's fur. The Shinobi says much fur. Four or seven, actually before the flats. After great tonal differences, isn't that? Isn't it? A lot of lights and darks and stuff like that, but I like the day one, day, the, the day one the most out of the two. I actually dark, the, the nighttime one's pretty good too, but uh, sunset, sunset, I don't know. I have a lot, a lot of work to improve. I need to improve a lot more. I'm trying not to be too impressed with my own work. I got some more work out of it. Gotta get before I become a professional colorist. Um, because I need to I, I actually need to become reasonable because I am putting out my own book. I'm putting out my own books. Uh, so I gotta make sure my colors are spot on. Right? Unless I want to hire on a colorist to do the work for me. And then we go in there and boom, there we go. There is the lighting on the bandages. What do you think? What, what a difference, huh? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Then, um, I got another layer listed here is hair. I think I did some more with her hair, yeah. Oh, that's why. Look at the wrong thing. <laughs> uh, now, this one was the sky. There we go. Boom. And essentially what I did was I added some, because I, I already had yellow tones in there on the flats. I airbrushed the yellows in there, right? It's for the sun. It's out in the day. I mean, it's a mixture of everything take a look at the sun. Now they got like a straight clear blue, but there's always a highlights of yellow in there, highlights of um, the sun in there, and that's what I wanted to put in there. It's, so I and so I left the sky itself blue and you have the clouds and you have the sun starting to just crest up. So it's like more of a morning image. It's kind of what I was going for. And then I went in there and worked on the swords and hilts. Okay, so you guys can get a closer image on that the, on the sword right there. See, with without the variations, boom, boom, and then 
Let me go up here to the to before. I mean after. Before. I mean after. Before. And now I messed up here. Uh on my flat layer. I go back in here and leave my flat layer. I actually left my co I actually did my colors and tonal differences on this part of the sword on this part of the sword right here on my flat so that was a mistake on my part again rookie error Boom. but um when it was all said and done i want you know these are pine trees it's supposed to be a forest and i wanted to add some green and i'm like oh man where i want to add green on here this you know this is supposed to be um out in the woods, you know what I mean? You can see trees in the back. So I just went and added a whole layer of green. So if I delete all other colors out, took everything else out of the picture. Boom. There's a slight green haze in there. In here, I can make increase it. See, add the rest in there, boom, add that in there, boom, add that in there, boom, 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 boom. boom. Now you will notice though, it's very, because I have increased the green so much, there's very little change. So let's tone it back down to what it was. I had it about 25, I believe. Yeah, there we go. It's about 25. And that just gives it a slight overcast of green. Because not only do you have the yellows and the blues, but in the forest, there's always green. Am I wrong? And from what I understand from reading these books, there's always reflective light. So if those trees were reflecting some light, or if there was some shrubbery around them, it would have a slight overtone of green in there. And that's why I put it, put that in there and just created a mass layer and filtered it so that it became less as it went up towards the sky. And then I went and I went and lowered the opacity. I was comfortable. Like, you, know, you increase the opacity or lower it even more, and lower it down even more. Put it even more in there. Even more in there. The more I do, the more the colors look muted. You understand? That looks brighter. The brighter day in there. More of a morning's just getting started. Boom. There we go. We'll keep it at 25. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a uh, little thing. Yeah, that was uh, the Shinobi Scat Sasquatch. Uh, then, I don't want to save the changes. That way it goes back to what it originally was. Um, that, um, because, uh, again, I was, my hand, my injury in my hand, um, started doing, I was working on some sketches, and these should just be working on some random sketches. You don't recognize this muscular figure in here. That's a uh, kind of like a homage to uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger when he was a bodybuilder. Yeah, saw a picture of him doing that. You know, like, mm, it's uh, my dad doing. It's like that uh, hey, man, twenty-nine inch arms at one time. That's insane. Twenty-nine. Of course, then Hulk Hogan came out. So I got 29 inch arms. <laughs> 29 inch arms. The only reason why I say that's insane, really, is because at one point in my life, not now, because I'm a lot older, at one point in my life, I actually had 29 inch waist. I had 28 inch waist at one point in my life. Mm, you know, double that now. I had 20 inches over that. <laughs> Quite a bit bigger. 
But uh, yeah, at one time. And then it's just, I was doing, uh, um, this is just trying to, I guess, it's too muscular. That's what I realized after I did it. Too muscular to be, um, um, Gordon from, um, Batman. But that's kind of a little bit of what I was going for in there. And I just wanted to do a little pose of a hawkish type man. Hawk smash. And I was just trying out different things. Uh, this is sketching of that. A little, a little sketching on the hand. Clenching a fist. I actually clenched my fist and drew my hand. Um, I was drawing a little running pose of a monster guy. A big hulking monster guy running. And I drew over it with this sketch of this emaciated face of a Viking warrior. An emaciated face, almost like skullish right there. You see his skull um, sunken in cheekbone, so sunken, you almost see his skull. But it's obscured by the beard that's still left because hair still grows after, even if you die. Figuring out still grow after you die type thing. Um, then you see my villain guy sitting here. Uh, it's just trying out some shadows. It's yeah, I um downloaded a bunch of new brushes and try and uh, I bought this um, I bought this uh pen set, uh, type of I guess tonal pen sets and stuff like that off a company. I'm trying to remember the name of the company, but uh, uh. It was a there was a nut I bought before from before Rusty Nib. I believe that might be the name of the company, or that might be just the package that was done. But here, I'm pretty sure if you look up on um, look up on Google, put in Rusty Nib, you'll see the, the company that come up and they sell brushes for different um, for different programs. And the really cool thing up here was, was uh, they they did it for Photoshop, they did it for uh, they had for Photoshop and they had for Procreate for the longest time. They had nothing for um, Clip Studios. And I actually, they sent me a thing saying, We bought, got it now, Clip Studios. And I was like, Sweet. So I bought a crap load of bus brushes from this package just for Clip Studios and, uh, and for comic book stuff and stuff like that. And it's me playing around with it, just trying to figure out how different things. I was drawing an eyeball and trying some of the different brushes and doing it. I did the same thing here. Macy, again, I'm using an emaciated face without any hair. I wanted to try some stuff. And here, while I was doing all this, I was also watching Walker. Um, not the Texas Ranger Walker, the new Walker. I used to watch a Walker Texas Ranger one too, but um, I watched the new Walker. I guess I really started watching it because of uh, Jared Pilecki was on it. And, I um really liked Supernatural, and so I'm giving a sh I'm giving that Walker show a shot. It's okay. I'm very liberal, and I'm a little bit more conservative. Uh, not that I'm not the liberals. Don't get me wrong. I have some liberal point of views as well, but um, <clears throat> it is pretty cool stuff. I, I I will say that it's pretty cool stuff. I probably should set my mic a little closer to me. Probably, I, I don't know if you guys are able to hear me that well, well but uh, and there's nobody actually watching, so at least I don't think so. Says I got one viewer, and that one viewer is probably me. Seems to be the ongoing theme when uh, I was doing YouTube videos as well. Of course, it has a lot to do with the hours that I'm doing these videos. I mean, probably prime time to do these videos would be in the evening. You know, between eight o'clock and ten o'clock or something like that. But I'm at work. Yeah, you know, I don't keep regular hours. A lot of times I'm in bed by a certain time. Usually I'm going to bed right about now. But yeah. So anyway, this was this sketch right here was kind of like a um, homage to uh, Jared Pilecki as Texas Ranger. It's just trying out, you know, drawing it. It was like cartoon style. Um, hope you guys like that one. That was just, uh, but that's just a little doodle thing. Anyway, uh, let's see. Um, so I got anything else in here? Oh, you guys, uh, 
those of you who don't know, I have um, a comic strip thing that I'm working on. It's called Zoomberg. You can take a you can see it on my um, Facebook page. I haven't done a whole lot more with it. I've been doing more writing lately because of my, again, because of my hand and writing is even difficult. So I've been typing, but I'm trying to work out the pages for the book. And, uh, well, this is one page right here. Uncolored. This is just the rough and, and, and uh, red. So you guys can see that for yourself. The, Nobody's seen this page, so you are seeing for the first time right here this page. It's not even on my website. So nobody's seen this but you guys. Anybody who comes to the Force One, Studio, uh, Force One Studios page and takes a look, you guys get to see it for yourself. But that's uh, that smalls, the bear, the bear you see in there is smalls. And he's talking to a stork. This character called St it, it, not, he's not called Stork, but he's a Stork, and he's, they're uh, talking about filling out this application and the difficulties of trying to get a job for this this Zoomberg company. Um, but if you guys have tried it, this is this is the cover. It's still working on it, but it's most likely going to be the cover for the book. Force One Studios, written and illustrated by Thomas H. Lilly III. And I've had that happen. That's the reason why I put that on the book where you're going down the street and somebody screams it and they didn't ring the bell. They see you're going past the stop and say, That's my stop! Like, ah! It's like, Jesus, ring the bell! Ring the bell! Or say something before I get there, not as I'm going by it. But anybody who's driven a bus will tell you that's a, a common reaction. You're like, ah! <laughs> um let's see yeah. this is the inside of the cover the first chapter or chapter each book it, it, this book's gonna have several chapters and each of it's gonna have the like a page like this and it's gonna tell you what chapter it is and the title of that chapter and here is chapter one looking for work uh okay let's go in here where is my there we go click out of that there we go um there we go this is him going this is smalls going to try to to to, to get in line to fill out an application with zta Zoomberg Transportation Authority, for those who don't know what ZTA stands for, Zoomberg Transportation Authority. Well, nobody would understand that because they nobody's read the book yet. But that's the, the authority that he's trying to get a job for. It's the Transportation Authority for Zoomberg. Um, Zoomberg's kind of modeled after Philadelphia and Pittsburgh. So that's why I call it Zoomberg. Zoomberg is a driving the bus, zooming along, Berg for the area. And they live in Pennsylvania, not Pennsylvania, Pets, like P-E-T, Pennsylvania. <laughs> My wife thought that was cute when I did, told her that. But uh, you can see down here, you're going, right there, He's what he comes up to the line. He's like, dang, line looks really long. And, yeah, you know, he puts his head around the, around the, Big gorilla guy, and he goes, "Oh boy!" He looks down, and there's just a line going down this really long hallway. And you go further along, and six hours later, he's all disheveled and crinkled. And he's like, oh. and he looks down. He looks up the sign. It says, "Taken, taken number for an application." And he's like, "Are you kidding me?" And he comes over and he pulls the number and he gets his 962. And he's like, what? And then this female pig lady who works for the Zoomberg, or actually, I think I was going to, yeah, I had her working for Zoomberg. She goes, that's 962 just to get an application, not an interview. And he's like, no! <laughs> uh, so anyway, 
everybody talks about how hard it is to get a job work for this transportation company is one that I work for. And his stories are kind of like a little bit modeled after the stories and things I've seen while working at um at transportation I work for transportation I come well I've already told you work SEPTA. So but I but there's a reason why I'm using animals. I'm keeping it I'm using cryptids. Um, so that I don't offend anybody. I don't want anybody getting offended by the stories that I'm telling. And there probably will be some people who will get offended if I if I use um, actual people. Yeah, I mean, or you know, illustration representations of actual people. So I decided, yeah, you know, that um, to keep the risk risk a little down a little bit, I was going to go ahead and make them cryptids. See if I can get this thing to freaking load this page is taking forever to load again i have a lot of software running at one time and i got a feeling that facebook is eating up a lot of my ram right now so anyway yeah okay there we go and this is a this is another page and a little further down after the um the, the, him filling out the application there be two stories that have to do with just filling out the application right and then he's got six weeks later I guess first reason they is six hours, six weeks. I guess the number of six when I was doing these pages was sticking in my head the most because I think I was working on the first six pages. <laughs> so, but anyway, six weeks later, he goes, hmm, what's this? It's got to be my, it's got my name on it. And then he says, hey, I think it's, right, as he's opening it up and pulling out the contents. And then he opens up the contents. And he's like, yes, as he's walking back into the house. And he all said, he reads the paper he's like oh no and you're like i you know when i finish people might think okay he didn't get the job but it's not that he didn't get the job if you read on he goes so i got some great news and i not so great news and the wife's like turns and looks as oh and he's like i got an interview with zoomberg trans with true zoomberg transit she's like, great what's the not so great news and he's like, I have to complete this list of things before I can get the interview. And she's and he unfolds this long paper full of stuff that he has to do just to get the interview to work for the company. And she's like, wow. <laughs> so I thought it was cute. Um, and then go in here, and this is the other page. So um, this is him actually completing the list of things that he has to, some of the list of things he has to do, the physical requirements to be able to get the job. Just waiting for it to load again. I says I'm walking multiples, but anyway. Um, says Smalls has been working diligently to complete the list of requirements given to him by Zoomberg Transit. And you see he's doing the hearing test. All right, 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 left. Uh, uh, right, I actually had to do that. You wear the ear muscle in your ears and give tell you know tell them which ear you're hearing it out of. Um, so anyway, where I first found out that I had some conversational tones that I cannot hear. Interesting. You know what that comes from? That comes from years of listening to these things over my ears, the music blaring in my eardrums. That's why. I've uh, tried to keep it on lower volumes from time to time now, but every once in a while I sneak the volume back up subconsciously because I just love loud music. Who doesn't like loud music? I mean, you drive down the road and you hear people going boom, boom, coming out of their trunks. So those people are going to be deaf one day. Anyway, um, then you look the next next one. And he's check, having his vision checked, and then the next one after that. And I thought this was just cute. I didn't just see him drawing draw a picture of him getting his blood pressure checked. But you ever seen the cartoons where they where they're gonna blow up the cuff and it pop you know, type thing? Well, it's kind of like that. What, what I was going forward there, where they're blowing it up and, you, and it's overinflated. And he's like, ah, he's, ouch. And then the next one is him trying to do a push-up. This is about what I was probably at when I went to try and get a job. I was like, I went, Wah. Uh, you don't need me to do any more because I can't. Anyway, he's <laughs> trying to do push-ups. And then um, the endurance test. He's sitting there running on the treadmill, running, 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 running. Oh, pop, 
falls flat on his butt. Oof. And he goes to have his weight checked, and he's really depressed now. He says, oh, okay, now I'm depressed. Clack, because the steps on here is like, clack! Anybody who's big like I am, you know what I'm talking about. You get stepped on that wood scale, and you just get dreaded, especially with one of them old-time scales. You hear that clack! And I think, oh, psh, and they're, trying, they're sitting there trying to move the weight to adjust it to see where you're at. Thank God that a lot of doctors have gone to the digital now. It is, but it's still depressing when you step on the scale and you see your weight sitting there falling and you're looking at the person like, Oh, God, I'm so sorry. I, I now I'm fat. I'm tired. I love food. I love food a lot. Anyway. <laughs> I love food a little too much. I think I'll some boobs want to get a bra soon no i'm not getting a bra sorry i'm gonna lose weight that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna lose weight i don't want to walk around with a bra not that kind of man sorry um anyway uh then you guys see him getting there his height checked by the female nurse and then i thought i wanted to wrap it up with a little bit of a humor and he's gonna do the hernia checks <laughs> a hernia check and she goes, okay, now, drop your drawers and cough. And he's like, oh, cough, cough. And she's handling his masculinity. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, it was, uh, uh, that was the, the last page that I worked on when, uh, before I finished up. So I got these two in the center. And basically, what happened was... Is I wasn't originally writing these. I was let's see if I, I have them in there. Oh, I got so much stuff lying on. It's not even funny. It's a shame. Ouch. That's not it. Oh, that, no, that is it. Okay. All right. So you guys know what I have done. Hmm. That was me knocking my roller over. If I showed you my art station right now, it would be, it would be a ball. Um, so anyway, originally I was doing the pages on here and I was just doing a quick sketch doodle and writing stuff out as I was like trying to figure out how, what I wanted to lay out for the page. And that's how I was doing the story. I was doing a page by page by page by page. But then after I went, what happened was, is I went from page one, which is actually page three, right? To page to page six, and I had page six as page as page four, and I completely forgot I wanted this put in a session where I had him, uh, where I had them filling out the application. So I had some funny little bits I wanted to put in there for the app, actual filling out the application. So I switched to this format now, and this is basically how I do it. And I guess you see that. So I write everything out on a computer using pages. And then I have this over on the side. And I do a light illustration. Thumbnail illustration on it. And that's how I'm doing all my pages now. Again, there's page two. Again, the script written out over here. And then the art, little, little thumbnail illustration over there. A rough thumbnail illustration over there. And then here's... Page three, which would actually be more of uh, it would be page four. I don't know why I have it listed. But these are the actual drawn pages. And for some reason, ah, oh, that's right, I forgot. <laughs> I'm about to change that and add, it, add that in there too. Uh, for some reason, I made the goof again and put that in. Put this in this page. This is going to be page. This is going to be page five when it's actually page six. So I think it's not a perfect system. I'm working on it. I got a stack of them here. I got the first uh, seven or eight pages thumbed out and uh, you know, there's more written on the computer in page six i just haven't printed them out and did any sketches on them because my hand hasn't been feeling so great but and that's where i'm at right now and i think i have yeah i've been talking for about an hour and 
So that's anyway. Uh, I, as I said, I'm back. And Lily Sketchpad's back. And I will be doing some artwork on here. I'm going to try and do some artwork soon. I probably said I was going to try and do some today. But when I went to pop my finger in it, my thumb, and it really kind of hurt. Um, probably should take some, take some Tylenol earlier to get it to feel better. To get ready for the artwork. But at least I had some material for you guys to look at. Right? So, anyway. Um, it's getting, getting, getting very, 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 very late. I think it's time for us to wrap this video session up. Thank you for joining me here on Lily Sketchpad. And I uh, look forward to seeing you guys. As I said, from now on, I'm going to be doing more live broadcasts. So you guys, and I, what I'll do is I'll also try to um, make sure that I, um, make sure that I, give you guys advance notice when the broadcasts are going to happen. That way you guys will be there to actually see it. I will do a video tomorrow. I will do a video tomorrow. And I'll put up an advertisement let everybody know that tomorrow I'm doing a video. And while I'm at it, I want to see if I can try to figure out how to um, make an Instagram and, and uh, Facebook together all simultaneously at one time. So that'd be really nice. And supposedly you're able to do it. I just don't want to have to pay for another um, app to get it done. Right? Right, 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 right. I think y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyway, it's time for me to get going. Oh, hey. Hey, Ryan, I'm sorry I missed you 16 minutes ago. I can tell this story is going to be extremely interesting. Thank you, Ryan. I appreciate that. And he said, 16 minutes said, good morning. I appreciate that. It's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to give that a big old like. <laughs> you won't have to. <laughs> All right, my man. I appreciate it. Hey, thank you for joining me here this morning. I promise there will be more. I will be doing a lot more videos. I'm going to have some more, more artwork soon. My, As I said, I'm trying to get my thumb on the mend. And I hope you guys uh, will join me here. I'm going to um, put up some more advertisements so people can see where, you know, come and check me out. All right, I appreciate it. Anyway, it is time for me to get this wrapped up. Thank you very much for joining me, folks. Thank you. Uh, those who I will be doing a video tomorrow. All right. I'll put an advertisement up so you guys know. Let everybody know. Let your friends know. Come and join me. Uh, and tomorrow I'll be doing some artwork. All right. I will talk to you all later. Adios, amigos. Away.